nervous ticks are starting to get me. Ooh. The manner in which she makes herself smaller, the way she fidgets with her hands, clasping them one moment in an unfurling in the next. It's distress distracting in a way that I badly want to ask what's wrong. I doubt she'd give me a straight answer though, and the best I can do is suggest suggest ways to her to help her temper it. I'll be discreetly. You don't have to hang around the door. We might be here for a while. You can sit down. She hesitates for a second, but after a brief internal battle with herself, she soon takes the empty seat by Zack's study table. Aren't we going to look for him? Sure, we can, but where are we going to start? Oh wait, isn't Zack at the precinct? I can think of a few places he might be, but Luxburn's a big city. I don't want to miss the big guy if we leave, and... I trail off, making a vague gesture in the general direction of Zack's bed. The messy bed suggests he was out in a hurry, he did not even bother to fold the sheets. His cell phone's been left behind as well, ooh, that's not good though. Another hot thing, when he has made it a habit to never leave it behind a case, a client calls. At least the locked door points to the fact that it wasn't a forced exit. We can take comfort in that. Hmm. That seems to reassure her, but not so much. Understandable. Anything might happen and completely letting our guard on is out of the question. And inside, we should not have left Rebecca alone too. We'll have to check your honor later. Yeah. In the meantime, there's Zack to worry about. But with no other clue where he is, without his phone with him, we have no choice but to wait. Sure, I can give the room another thorough run through, but I don't think Zack will appreciate me offending this place. Isabella won't let me do that either. Besides, before I can think of snooping about even more, my stomach grows, reminding me I haven't eaten anything to yet today. Yeah, he must be hungry. Isabella probably hasn't too. We were in a hurry. Might as well take this chance to cool down a bit, right? Anything to distract us, myself especially, so that I don't ju just charge ahead first because of whatever paranoid scheme comes to mind. I have another person with me right now. I can be restless. Returning to the kitchen, the first thing I see is a bag of chips when I rifle through its cupboards. After murdering a permission and an apology is only one here, I grab it. Oh, I remember that part, yes. Isabella doesn't miss shooting me another lower, though she doesn't really make an effort to stop me this time. My offer of food has been completely ignored meanwhile. So instead, I set myself on Zack's old couch and turn on the television. Her silence may not be too heavy, but it sure as hell is awkward. The screen lights up right as some awful noontime drama starts airing on channel 9. Nothing like sitting in front of the TV with a mindless drone running in the background to waste away the time. And waste it away we do. And then Zach's gonna go. I remember that party was pissed at the Ashton for eating his chips. Uh, the afternoon has hit its last few hours when movement comes from the other side of the door and Zack's heavy threads breaks through the monoton monotonous trivel from the TV. The lock clicks, the knob turns, and slowly it swings open to reveal a very exhausted looking Zack. What, did you run a marathon? Sub Z man. Hey Zack, sorry we just barged in here. Ash was. Relax, Z man gave me a copy of the key himself. Mmm. I'm trying to remember what he was doing at that moment. I think he came back from the photograph session with Hannah. But I'm not sure. Light as my dawn might be, his arrival eases the restless edge in me. Who knows what I would have done if something bad has happened to one of my friends. Hearing his ex parated response is a relief too. If another minute has gone by without him showing up, 
I might resort to unconventional methods. Thankfully, it doesn't have to come to that. Only after you broke the 13th one. I can't keep replacing them every time you think it'd be a good idea to break into my apartment. And stop calling me Z-Man. I didn't break anything this time. Ash, just because I gave you a key doesn't mean you can just stroll in here whenever you want to. I'm sorry, Zach. And hey, is that my... Ah, shit. It's scary how your friendly banter and easy smile come naturally. <laughs> and with, even without thinking. And that speaks volumes about how comfortable I am around him. That's nice, isn't it? What makes me afraid of it, however, is the idea that a time might come where I might just do this on autopilot around him. Without even meaning to offend him in some way. The friendship we have might be chosen and most I've shared with the others, but there are boundaries you can cross without the other's permission. <laughs> Zach's been respectful of that so far, neither asking about my parents or what happened to them. Me? I'd better just say not so much. It's also this easy banter that makes me wish we can just stay like this. No worries, no problems, just potato chips and the debate on whether or not I deserve them. <laughs> but as usual, something has always cut the moments like this short. Be it another, more important business, or a sudden, unintentional shift in the mood. Of course he eats all of it. You know, I was saving that for the weekend. Did you at least share some with Bella? Don't worry about it. I'm good, Zach. Really? <laughs> it's free food, you know? What was that you usually say? You don't say no to free food? Eh, yeah, me pissed. <laughs> what happened? No, I'm just not hungry. Her tone forces him to do a double take. Just to say, despite noticing how strange Isabella's acting, Zack doesn't push it. The questions are too clear in his eyes when he glances my way though, and I wish I can answer him. A shrug is really the only thing I'm able to give. During the entire ride here, Isabella's been unforthcoming as well. What am I supposed to do? I can't just force her to be a can I to speak, can I? She's not a criminal to be interrogated. She's a friend for Pete's sake. I'm 100 and 1% sure she'll snap at me if I pressure her. It's a good thing Zach has better handle of the situation than I, and soon enough, he changes the subject. Where it leads to is not necessarily the better topic, however. Aye? Aye, 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 aye. But if you want something, just say so. I've got a fully restocked pantry right here at your disposal. Still not a five-star level thing, but for an empty stomach, it do. Ah, yes. He's gonna cook. Just say the word. Thanks, Zach. Maybe next time. Food is not really what we came here for. I... We... Ash... He's the one who... She trays off, stumbling into one of her uncertain silences again before glancing my way. There's a plea in there. For me to take the front in this... Because, because despite wanting to hear Zack's answers herself, Isabella's uneasy vibe still reverberates throughout the room, palpable however wordless she stays. Where do we start? The mansion? The strange things we've been seeing? The letter? If anything, this simply feels like waiting for the inevitable to fall. Even I am, even I am afraid of what he might say. Her concerns are definitely not unexpected either. I'm sure she blames herself for this. Even if I'm equally as responsible for not listening to her pleas, opening that letter. On the off chance there's a truth to the curse, this is my mess as much as it is hers. That much I can state with complete certainty. It's kind of everyone's mess at this point. If it would be enough to lessen the worries, I'm no longer sure. I can't even believe I'm considering a deeper look into this old thing in the first place. But here I am. No, you're right. There really are some odd things going on here lately. How is everything with you lately, Zach? Oh, hold on, Ash. Both of you. Did I just hear you say that? Is this why Isabella's here? Has something happened? Calm down. We're just here to check on things. Yeah, kind of. So, did you meet Andrew about the photos? What photographs? Oh yeah, she forgot. And I want to brought up 
I like when he brought up the subject of the photos with me, he doesn't hesitate when Isabella asks his for it. Zack hastily fishes them out of a nearby drawer and hands it to her without delay. I can almost see it in him, the second insight kicks in, and the realization that she would have been a better listener than I. Makes sense, when I, all I've been doing until this morning is call it for a Halloween prank. She goes through each of the prints in silence, her shoulders growing stiffer by the second until she has gone rigid and pale. But it is a telling glances they exchange after war that speak volumes of the things running inside their minds. What did Andrew say about them? It could be one, but there's no guarantee it's a supernatural thing. It doesn't always happen, so that's a dead end right there. Now that I think about it, bothering that guy for this feels pretty silly now. But with dreams lately... That's all? Did he say anything about the damn letter at all? Did you ask him even? As expected, Zack starts to look at me like I've grown a second head. Hey, yeah, I will too. If there is, if there is ever a universe where I'm standing in front of myself, give him a piece of my mind. Insists the removed surroundings, the mansion, are nothing but tales, and whatever happened to Isabella, whatever is happening lately, likely as a logical, more grounded explanation. Because yes, I am skeptic. Skeptic. Even as a child, I never believed in ghost stories. The lucky charms and mystical objects from my mother have often been stored away or given a part through these gifts to those who will appreciate them more. Yeah, that's really everything. The letter kind of slipped my mind. The photos were more important at that time. There was some stuff about the local horror stories, though. Uh, talked about the curses, and he was really fascinated with the story about a wraith asking for a sacrifice to move on. A sacrifice. Kinda nasty if you ask me, but it does make sense if you simply go along with it. I'm not sure how this will help in the grand scheme of things. Why are you asking about this anyway? Rose's death isn't just a coincidence, Zack. It may have something to do with... I may have... Wait, wait, wait. Stop right there for a sec, Bella. I thought you ain't buying this stuff, Ash. Just the other day, you said the exact same thing. The fact that I'm even considering this is crazy when every, every time Isabella has talked about her country's silly superstitions, I just brush it off. Point out every inaccuracy I can see until it's hot but exhausted. Granted, I have not eliminated, eliminated every single possibility here yet. But what else, what else is there to go off on from here? I try to stamp down the annoyance from the thought alone. The worried look Zack shoots my way doesn't help one bit in helping me gather my thoughts either. When that's what I came for. Came here for. Somehow, everyone's, everyone's suddenly just so worried about me. Isabella, Rebecca, the professor, and Zack. It's not like I'm pulling this out of my ass. I still don't, but even Rebecca, out of all people, claims there's something. Whatever this is, Someone has got to look into it. Everything about this screams shady. And along with Isabella's warnings, what's occurring around Zack, what's happening around Luxburn since Isabella has found the letter. Have you two seen the news this morning? Zack's puzzled expression is enough to answer. Of course, he hasn't. Another night, another nightmare. The guy most likely went out as soon as he got out of bed. <laughs> Shake the images off. The memories have never really left him. Isabella, though? I haven't, actually. Mama... Mama called, and... I was busy. That's okay. Those words can easily mean anything. From another good news to one not quite pleasant. The latter, most probably considering the bleak mood she's been carrying since morning. The question is, how bad exactly is it this time? Did Arcuya, her older brother, end up in jail again? She's had to bail him out numerous times in the past. So, all that did is piss her off every time, that sap every ounce of tears out of her. Or is it that the other brother 
the younger one who's insisting he quit school so she could 